In 1905, the world's first successful human corneal transplant was performed by Dr. Edward Zerp. Since then, corneal transplantation has become a standard tool in ophthalmic surgery and millions of people have benefited from better vision. The cornea is the clear, outermost layer of the eye. It has two main functions, to protect the eye from harmful materials in the environment and to help you focus on what you're seeing. The cornea is transparent. Because there are no blood vessels in the cornea, transplantation is a fairly safe procedure. If the cornea becomes opaque, misshapen, or swollen, a donor cornea can be used to replace it. Some common causes of corneal damage include corneal abrasion, a scratch on the surface of the cornea, corneal dystrophy, a group of genetic disorders involving vision impairment caused by the buildup of debris in the cornea. For example, keratoconus, which affects the curvature of the eye and corneal ulcer, an open sore on the cornea. Corneal transplantation has developed rapidly in the past 10 years. According to a study by Ton et al., the adoption of newer forms of surgery have resulted in better outcomes. A full thickness transplant is when the surgeon transplants all the layers from the donor. This used to be the dominant procedure for the treatment of most causes of corneal blindness. Lamellar corneal transplants are recently developed techniques that replace only diseased layers of the cornea. For example, a deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty replaces only the deeper layers of the cornea while eliminating the risk of rejection. This results in more predictable visual outcomes. A full cornea transplant can be done under local or general anesthesia. A special tool called a trephine works like a cookie cutter to remove a round section of damaged cornea from the eye. Next, a similar size circle from the donor's eye is removed and placed into the damaged eye. It is then stitched together using ultra-thin stitches. Once your cornea transplant is complete, you will need to take certain precautions. Eye drops and occasionally oral medications are used immediately after cornea transplant and during your recovery to help control infection, swelling, and pain. Wearing an eye patch protects your eye as it heals. You will also need to take it easy after your surgery and slowly work your way up to your normal activities. For the rest of your life, you will need to take extra precautions to avoid harming your eye. In addition, attending regular follow-up exams with your doctor for the year following your surgery will help avoid any complications. In more serious situations, immune rejection of the donor cornea can occur, requiring immediate intervention. This occurs when the body recognizes the donor cornea as a foreign tissue. The body's immune system becomes activated and destroys the transplanted tissue. Efforts are made by physicians to match the donor's and recipient's tissue types in order to avoid rejection. Patients will usually be prescribed immunosuppressant medication to prevent this from happening. If rejection occurs, early detection and aggressive therapy will reduce the likelihood of permanent damage to the organ. There are over 2,000 Canadians waiting for a corneal transplant and depending on the location, the wait for a donor could be up to three years. The overall success rate of a corneal transplant is approximately 85%. While there are still limitations to the procedure, the restoration of sight is a daily miracle, improving the quality of life for many Canadians each year.